this week I've brought you somewhere mega, mega cool. You can see it behind me. It's St. Govan's Chapel in Pembrokeshire. Remember, if you like these adventure videos, to subscribe and also share with all your adventure friends. But I'm going to show you why this place is so special right now. Okay, guys, it was another super windy day in Wales. If you've seen my Travan video, you'll know what I mean. But the first thing I'm sharing with you today is to consider starting at Boshiston. Coffee. You can get the essentials like coffee and the village is super cute. There are even some hints of St. Govan, the figure shrouded in mystery, but we'll talk about that later. I felt like I went back in time. There was even an unvandalized phone box. The second thing I'm going to share with you is that you'll need to walk through an operational military range to get there. To go. I am not kidding. Do it again. Do it again. Quite randomly, you'll see a huge chicken farm, which really amused me. Especially when the lady came out with the chicken feed. The chickens were very excited. They cracked me up. £1.20. And of course, you can buy some eggs if you want. Just a reminder here not to touch any military debris as it may explode and kill you then it's quite possible you will have a Mexican standoff with some cows. I genuinely love how curious cows are, especially this one. <laughs> Follow the path until you hit the wonderful Pembrokeshire coast, which looks dazzling blue. To be honest, I would have loved to have flown the drone here, but like I said earlier, it was a little bit windy. Nevertheless, you can enjoy the stunning coastline from the path and just look at those colours. Lo and behold, a mysterious building literally built into the cliff. And this is where the first mystery begins, actually. They say if you count the steps going down and then coming back up, you'll never have the same number. One, two, three. Now, this is quite a popular spot, so you may have to step aside to allow others to pass. But that's okay, just another opportunity to look at this marvel. Back to it then, there are a whole lot of myths surrounding St. Govan, this character. I'm going to tell you the most popular version of the story today, but first of all, I know you're dying to know how many steps I counted. What did you get? I got 71. <laughs> to hear. I was immediately drawn to the window in this chapel. Apparently, St. Govan decided to set up camp here after being chased by pirates. I like this window. The cliff opened up and left just enough room for him to hide there unnoticed. The chapel that you see here is made from local limestone and it was built over the original cave. It dates from the 13th century, although this site may have been of some importance since the 5th century, quite a while ago. And there are a couple of treasures in this place, one of which is like rib-like fissures in this part of the chapel. It might have been that on the right hand side. As you can probably tell, I couldn't find the rib-like markings despite my best efforts. So. Perhaps if you go there, you can leave the location in the comments. We were quite confused. It's not obvious, okay? If, if you know, then just let me know. Another legend regarding St. Govan concerns his silver bell. He is supposed to have kept the bell in the tower of the chapel. So obviously we went to find this too. Again, not something that easy to find. Ooh, that little garden shed. That is. We think it's this. It's either that or if it's his garden shed. But apparently those pesky pirates came back and stole the bell. Anyway, it was returned to St. Govan by angels who turned it into this big stone. All super believable, as I'm sure you'll agree, but wow, what a place to visit. I highly recommend you go explore his back garden for extra fun. 
These big boulders look like dinosaur eggs. And to look at more crazy rock formations. Speaking of which, if you like this one, make sure you watch my Sprinkle Haven video and Church Doors Cove. You'll be blown away. Anyway, I know this is a short video, but I really wanted to show you this super, super cool place. And please let me know if you have been here before or if you plan on visiting. As always, remember life is an adventure and I will see you on the next video.